Hey there loves, how are you doing? Hopefully your week is going well. I just thought, you know, doing some work. I said, let me shoot the intro for, I shot what I eat in a day for Monday, Tuesday. And I just wanted to, um, yeah, I did shoot an intro for Monday, but it was just too much because I was just emotionally drained that Monday. So I said, let me shoot an intro for my Monday and Tuesday videos so you get to see uh, how well I'm doing on my diet. So Monday was very draining for me. You know, I, I went to sleep on Sunday night thinking, you know what? I got this. I got my goals. I got everything. And I woke up the next day and it was just emotionally draining. You know, just some personal stuff happening. Though it was an ins insignificant person, you know, trying to kind of steal my strength for that day. So I almost didn't work out, but I just pushed myself. I worked out, it was around um, 12. And I went so hard because I was just, had all this pent up uh, emotions. And I went so hard, I worked out fast and I was even jogging. Normally I do brisk walking, but that day I was jogging. And I went so hard and um, I decided to go make some dumplings and prep for the week. Uh, because for those who don't know, that's a, a tip right there. Dumplings are a pretty good weight loss food. They're filling, they're delicious. You know what I mean. Anyway, I digress. So I went to the kitchen, made my food. By the time I was finished making those dumplings, because I was meal prepping for, you know, whenever I wanted to uh, have them, I finished around 6 p.m. So I had my first meal around 6.30 p.m. And I thought, mm, I got time, maybe two hours later I'll, I'll eat the rest of my calories. And that meal was only around 700 something calories, if not less. So I fell asleep, I was so tired because I worked out so hard and all the stuff I had gone through throughout the day that I didn't eat my meal, my second meal. I, didn't, I went to sleep without actually having the rest of my calories for the day. So, what happened was, I didn't work out yesterday, which was Tuesday. I didn't work out on Tuesday because I thought, you know, I have about 700 calories that I didn't use from the previous day. And I'm so sore because I was jogging and, you know, I overworked myself the other day when I was doing my workout. So, what I ended up doing is I didn't work out. Uh, I still did intermittent fasting. I ate my first meal around 2, you're going to see uh 2:30 ish and then have my second meal and had a little snack and what i wanted to say to you is this i want to i'm thankful that i did not go off my diet because i was emotionally just not there because a lot of the times um lately i've been watching my 600 pound life with my daughter and I've seen that a lot of those people, okay, I'm not 600 pounds, I've never been, but I'm just saying, I can't say I understand what they're going through, but having had issues with weight before, I understand the origins of those urges and cravings to want to eat. A lot of people on my 600 pound life, those people have serious emotional issues. If you notice, if you notice that's why even the doctor there always sends them almost in every time every case they uh show on that uh tv show they have to send the people for psychotherapy because it's not normal to want to eat your feelings away so if you have a negative issue negative feeling that's making you feel like you need to eat deal with that issue deal with those negative emotions because eating is only going to give you results that you don't want um so that's what I discovered and that's why I said I think I've been going through this for some months so I've kind of gotten control of my appetite whenever I feel like I want to eat I deal with that emotion that makes me feel like I want to eat does that make sense hopefully it does make sense so I deal with the emotion that makes me feel like I want to eat and I end up not overeating not running to food as my you know safe haven when I'm eating, I feel happy. I eat the cookies, the cream, the this, the that. Everything makes me feel good. But the outcome is not good. So you need to deal with whatever emotional issue that is leading you. And don't let any emotional trauma or anything that day derail you 
and, and, and throw you off your goals. Like I said on Monday, emotionally, I, I just felt like, okay, let me just take a break today. Give myself, most likely the old me, I would have gone, gone some ice cream, uh, just, just ate my emotions away, but I didn't do that. Instead, I worked out and I'm proud of myself. So I wanna encourage you to do the same. When you feel not your best, even it may not be like someone external causing you to feel a certain way. It may be just you, maybe as you know, hormones or whatever. You're just not feeling, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something. So I just wanna encourage you, deal with your emotions and also don't let anything steer you away from your goal. Don't let anything derail you. Have that eagle eye focus of, okay, this is what I wanna do. And be consistent because consistency is what pays off. Like a quote I put in my last video is, little itty bitty progress adds up to big results. So that's why I weigh myself every day and Last week, I ended my week at 84 kg. Today, I was 83.8. So, I got a, I'm seeing the progress. It's a few hundred grams, but I count those 300 grams because a few more of those, I have a kg. Excuse me. So, that's why I am encouraging you. That little progress that you see that may seem to be insignificant, add it up is going to show you that it can bring you big results. So I'm gonna show you my calories at the end of the video for Monday, Tuesday, and I'm gonna show you also my weights, how I've been recording. There's an, a very cool app I've been using to record my uh, weight. And I only use, I weigh myself every day, but on the app, I only record my lowest weight uh, thus far. So now I only record, let's say I'm 83.8. When I get to 82.9, say, or just even 83.7, I record that, though I weigh myself every day. So enjoy my what I eat in a day, and I will see you again uh, on the next one. I'm going to be recording the next half of the week. Ciao, my loves. Okay, here's our little dumplings. I'm still cooking because I'm making some for the whole family. But each one of these has 41 calories. And don't be alarmed because you see this oil. I only use one teaspoon of oil to make these pot stickers. Can you see? Don't they look delicious? And I'm still yet to have some breakfast. So this is my counter, you guys. Uh, these are still the ones that are yet to be cooked. I'm not gonna cook all of them. I'm gonna cook about 24 so that we have like eight each. And I'm gonna freeze the rest of these so that I have a meal ready when I want to eat them throughout the week. Okay, so this is the finished meal. I know it doesn't look I don't know, good, but trust me, I measured out everything. The dumpling wrappers, I made them from scratch. So I calculated every calorie in there. These are eight dumplings, so they should be 320 calories. And this is 100 grams of chicken, baked chicken, just to have some protein. And in the dumplings, they are filled with spinach and a little bit of chicken breast, ground chicken breast, and some of them have ground beef. But the ground beef, beef is like very little. A lot of it is spinach and green onions. Here are my calories for the day. Like I told you, I only ate one meal at six, maybe 6.30, and I fell asleep. I got so tired, I fell asleep. Before my next meal, I didn't have, um, I didn't eat. I only had 701 calories for that day. So you can see.
So it's um, almost lunch time, which is going to be breakfast time for me. I'm about to have my first meal of the day. Still trying to decide is it going to be breakfast type meal or am I just going to have like a normal meal? I'll let you know what I decide. Yes. So this is breakfast for lunch. Two eggs on toast, two slices of toast with Nutella, and some peanuts sprinkled on top. And as usual, my tea, just regular tea, and this time I have 150 grams, that's my son crying, 150 grams of 2% milk. And if you're wondering why my eggs are always kind of cr crusty like this, it's because I only use ab about one teaspoon of oil. So they end up getting like that, but they still taste good. Okay, this is my dinner. Uh, it should be almost 9 p.m. And I'm having dumplings again today. But today I'm having six dumplings, a piece of sausage. Uh, this is 100 grams of sausage, uh, country style. Um, then I'm having a little bowl of broccoli and my dipping sauce. It's just soy sauce, a little bit of sweetener, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And broccoli, I can't say is my veggie of, of choice, but it's not bad. But this is actually grown from our garden and we have a lot of it right now, so I have to eat it. And I actually enjoy it. Let me say, I really do enjoy it. I had a little bit of a sweet tooth, so I had this little Kit Kat. It's only 100 calories, and here it is. This is the summary of the calories that I had on Wednesday. I had a total of 1,393 calories with my breakfast, which was 659 calories, as you can see. And I waited a little bit and then later I had dinner which was 600 calories. And as you saw, I couldn't overcome my sweet tooth on that day so I had a Kit Kat which is 100 calories. And I was overboard by 43 calories but it's okay.